Hey guys, it's Miss Beal here, and today we are gonna walk through how to make a cute little alpaca. He's adorable, at least I think so. So, we're not just gonna go crazy. We're gonna go one step at a time like we do in class so that we can all make sure that we get something that we like, okay? And if you, um, if you get left behind or if you mess up somewhere, you can always rewind the video a little bit so that you can keep up with the steps, okay? So all you'll need today is a pencil, an eraser, pencil sharpener, hopefully you have one. If not, that's totally fine. Just have some extra pencils handy. And I'm gonna use colored pencils to finish out my piece, okay? You can use crayons, you can use markers. Um, some of you might have paint at home and that is totally fine. Oh, I have a visitor. My cat is coming up to say hi. Cat, are you gonna say hi? <laughs> okay. So, hopefully she won't lay on my paper and let me walk you through what to do. Okay, guys, remember when we are drawing, we need to draw super lightly. If we draw so heavy, we won't be able to erase those lines. Okay, so the first lines we're gonna draw are not gonna be permanent, okay? So we're gonna end up erasing them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the center of your paper, okay? And then you're gonna lightly draw top to bottom down the center and find the center again and then you're gonna go left to right okay so we kind of have you know a cross right here okay I hope you guys can see that <laughs> then what you're gonna do is you're gonna work in this section right here so the bottom left rectangle that we have so we're gonna start about a finger width from the edge okay so about right here so put your finger down on the edge Put your pencil right there. And then we're gonna make kind of like the letter L. And then we're gonna curve it up some more. So this is gonna be our alpaca's leg like we see over here. And then we're gonna make a curved line to that middle line right there, okay? So we're gonna start at the top, come down and curve up and then make a curve line to the middle, okay? Then what we're gonna do is the same thing on the other side. Get about a finger width, maybe two, right here. Put your pencil down where it is. You're gonna come and make sure it's about the same width. So come over here maybe. And so we see how long it needs to be, so we'll put a dot there. And then we'll come up. Make sure you're drawing lightly. And then we're gonna curve over, okay? If you don't like the way this belly looks, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start from one side to the other, and then I'll erase all this right here. See, the lighter we go, the easier it is to get rid of our little mistakes. Okay, so now we have the bottom part of our alpaca. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in this top left square right here. So L is left, so we're gonna start up top. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up just a little bit and curve over just about one to two fingers past the center line here, okay? I messed up a little bit, so I'm gonna erase my little line, shaping them up. So then we're, we're again, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna curve up and over, just a little bit past that center line, and then we're gonna stop. Now what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna make mine a little bit longer. We're gonna make our little alpaca's head. So what we're gonna do is we're going to come up, and over. That's a little too long. Let me try again. See, even Miss Feel likes to do things differently sometimes. Okay, I think this will be easier. So we're gonna make like a candy cane, okay? So we're gonna start here, come up and curve over. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out a little and then come all the way down. So that will be our alpaca's little nose and his little mouth. I'm gonna shape mine up a little bit more. 
and then I'm gonna get rid of some of those extra bits, okay? So there we go. Now we have our, the basics of our alpaca's body. We have his cute little head, his neck, his little snout. We have his backside, his two legs. But alpacas have how many legs? Four. So here's what we're gonna do to continue this, okay? So we're gonna come right here on the back leg and we're going to start right here, right next to it. And we're gonna come down and over. Okay, do y'all see that? We're gonna come down and over. That will make it look like this leg is behind this one. So this one's closer to us. This one's a little bit further away, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're making that other leg right here, okay? And then on the front, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come out just a little and then curve over. And then now we have our four little legs. And now we're gonna actually make his cute legs, okay? So their legs are a little funky. They have some kind of knobby knees and they're kind of skinny and they have little hooves at the bottom. So we're gonna start with the front, the first two legs that we drew. Okay, let me zoom out just a little. Okay, maybe in just a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna come down and we're gonna kind of make the letter V, okay? Not super pointy, we're gonna kind of round that. And then we're gonna kind of make a little oval right here. And then we're gonna make a little letter L and then we're gonna make a little in, a little out, come back down and over. And look, we have our first leg, okay? So we made a V, an oval, little L, little upside, or a little A without the cross, and then we're gonna make another little L, okay? Now we're gonna to come to the back side and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make our V, gonna make our oval. Try and make your legs as close to the same size as you can, okay? And we're gonna come down and over, come up, come out, come down and over, okay? My little V isn't as big as the other one. All right, and now what you're gonna do is just erase down the middle. We still wanna have our little shape with our little knobby knees, but we don't need those lines that were in the middle. All right, so now let's move to the front. We're gonna make our V. We're gonna make our oval. We're gonna make our little L and make sure that you come across and find the spot where your feet should end. So I'm gonna make my little L to here up, down, L to here, okay? Same thing will happen over here, V, oval, little L, up, down, little L, okay. And then we're gonna erase down the middle. And then just outline one more time so we don't get confused and we don't miss any pieces. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our little alpaca's face, okay? So what we're gonna do first is from here to here, we're gonna make the letter C, okay? Not super curved, but we're just gonna make a curve, kinda like a smushed rainbow from here to here. And then we're gonna make the half of a heart right here for its little nose. Okay, and then you can make a little hole for its little nostril. Then we're gonna make its ears. So its ears, let me show you. Its ears are kinda long and kinda thin, but not too thin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of start right here. We're gonna curve up and curve down. 
And then over here, we're gonna make it come to about there. Curve up and then curve down, okay? Now, we're not gonna see this line anymore. So we need to erase it because the head is gonna be behind this ear, okay? We can also erase this one too. So now we have two ears, a nose, and a little snout where the color is going to be different. And then we need to add our eye. So we're going to make our alpaca's eye closed. So we're just going to kind of come about a finger above the little snout. So I'm going to put my finger there, or I'm going to put my dot there. And you're just going to make a curved line like its eyes are closed. Okay. You can do eyelashes. Alpacas do have long eyelashes to keep the bugs out of their eyes. But if you don't want to, you can leave it just like that. But if you wanted to do eyelashes, you just make short little curves. And that'll keep the bugs out of their eyes. Now, our alpaca has a little bit of a tail. So we're going to make our cute little tail for our little guy. And it's gonna be kind of like our ears, just a little bit shorter and a little bit more round. So we're gonna start at the back end. We're gonna come up and curve down. There's our little tail, super easy. And then we're gonna add a cute little blanket to our alpaca, okay? You can um, add whatever colors you want, whatever designs you want. You can make it rectangular or you can make it circular. I think the circle is really cute, so that's what I'm gonna show you today. If you're gonna do a rectangle, you would just come down, over, and up, and then you'd add the fringe down at the bottom. But I'm just gonna show you the half circle because I think it looks really cute. So we're gonna start at the base of the neck, so the bottom of the neck is right here at that little corner. And then we're gonna curve down and then I'm going to start at this end and curve down to where I meet him in the middle. And so now I have kind of like my watermelon slice, my half circle. Okay. And then we're going to add a cute little collar and you can give your alpaca a name. I haven't named mine yet, but maybe I'll come up with a name by the end. So we're just going to make a curved line here and a curved line here. And then you can add like a little circle or a little heart or a little charm. And that'll be where the name tag will go. Then you'll erase that line because we won't be able to see through that. And now you have your basic alpaca's body, all right? Then I'm gonna help you put your background in there. So our alpaca, he loves to eat. He loves to walk around in the grass, so we're going to draw some grass. So right across the middle where that line is that we did from left to right, that's where our grass is going to go. So let me just zoom in a little. I don't have much room um, for my grass on this alpaca as I did this one. But what I like to do for grass, I like to kind of zigzag up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Because grass isn't just flat all the time. There's lots of little blades in there and some of them are really tall bits of grass. So now we're gonna come over to this side on that same line, and we're just gonna zigzag up and down and up and down, up and down and up and down and up and down, okay? So we have our grass where it's gonna be from left to right. So our alpaca isn't just standing on nothing. We're gonna add grass down here too, but let's go up to the sky. So in the top corner above his tail, we're gonna make a cute little cloud. You can do more than one. I'm just gonna show you this cute little one. So if you draw like a curved line, kind of in the sky somewhere, and then you start and you make like the letter N over and over and over and over and over and over again, you came up with a cute little cloud, all right? You can also make a little smaller one over here if you'd want to, okay? If you'd like to add the sun, you can add the sun peeking behind the cloud here. You can add it over here, but we don't really have much space on this side. So I'm gonna put my sun, I think I'm gonna put it on this side today. So I'm gonna make 
kind of like a circle. And my sun's gonna be peeking out from behind your cloud. Remember, you can put it wherever you'd like where there's room up top, okay? And then I'm just gonna make the little lines coming out of it. Okay? So now we have the basics done. Before we jump in and add color, what we need to do is erase these lines from top to bottom and left to right that we drew, okay? Because we don't need a cross in the middle of our alpaca. So just quickly and carefully erase all of those little lines there. Remember, the lighter you draw, the easier this step will be. Because I told you they, these lines were not gonna stay. And then this top to bottom one. All right. And then just get all the pencil shavings away. All righty. So now um, what I'd probably recommend doing before you get started coloring is add your detail to your blanket that's on your alpaca. Already think about what colors you wanna use, if you want flowers or just geometric designs, if you want stripes, okay? And then these are little tassels, okay? They're super cute. Um, people that um, have alpacas, normally they make their own blankets and then they add their own little fringe at the bottom. So we wanna use bright colors because our, alp our alpaca is gonna be mostly brown. So we don't wanna have a boring colored blanket. We want it to be shiny and cute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and follow that line that we made to make the edge of our blanket. If you did a rectangle, you'll do the same thing. Just follow around that line to where it's about half a finger wide. And then I did kind of like a zigzag or some triangles here, um, but you're more than welcome to do whatever pattern you want. But I'm gonna show you how to do this one. So all you'll do is from this curved line to the back of the alpaca is you'll make a diagonal line. Then from this point, you'll come down. From this point, you'll come up. From this point, you'll come down this point you'll come up and this point you'll come down okay and inside these triangles you can add whatever you want if you just want to do solid colors make a pattern that is totally fine now let me show you how to make the tassels really quickly okay so at the bottom so right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little circle and then you're gonna add some little lines off of it. Okay, and then you're gonna put about a finger down, make another little circle, and put some lines hanging off of it. Finger down, circle, put some little lines off of it, okay? If you want your tassels closer together, you can totally do that. You can make a smaller one in the middle. I think I like the more tassels. I think tassels are cute. So we're gonna do small, big, small, big. And just keep going until you finish all the way around the edge of your alpaca. Sorry, my cat is, <laughs> she doesn't like when people show up or open their car doors, so she growls a little bit. She's sweet though. Alrighty, and there you have it. All of our little tassels on our little alpaca. Okay. So some quick tips when you are gonna add color to your alpaca. You wanna make sure that you start with the sky first, okay? So you wanna make sure you do the sky. 
Um, so you'll pick whatever shades of blues or purples that you want. Let me find a color that I like. Okay. I like this color, this is pretty. It's called Aquamarine. So I'm gonna start down at the grass and I'm gonna lightly add my color so that I don't color on the grass and go nice and slow so you don't cover up your alpaca. You're gonna follow around. And when if you start going up and down back here, you need to go up and down all the way across your sky so that your um, the way that you color matches, all right? So then you'll start with your sky, come all the way around your alpaca. Don't color in your clouds. Your clouds are gonna stay white. And you're just gonna go light. You can always darken it up or layer it with another color. So if you wanted to have this blue and then do a lighter blue with it, you can do that. But you've just gotta make sure you take your time. If you don't wanna finish this all in one day, you don't have to. You can do about 10 or 15 minutes a day, and then you'll get done by the end of the week. So after you get done with your sky, I'm just gonna stop here, but you need to finish your whole sky. After you get done with that, you need to work on your sun. Make sure your sun has nice, pretty yellows, maybe a little bit of orange, maybe a little bit of red in there. And then you're gonna to wanna to come and do your grass, okay? So I would recommend getting a darker green and coming and just tracing over those grass lines that you made that are right next to the sky. And then kind of at the bottom around your alpaca, I would just do a couple little zigzags of them because grass has texture, Grass is sometimes kind of pokey. Sometimes grass is long. So you, that was the dark green. Now I'd come in with a lighter green. Oh, sorry, my cat's being crazy. Okay, little girl, go outside. <sighs> well, she won't listen to me, but we'll see. Okay, and then you'll come in with your light green and do the same thing, kind of all around. Give it some texture. Texture is what something looks like, it feels like, okay? So if you have um, like a fuzzy blanket, it probably has some little pieces that look kind of like this, okay? So after you get that done, what I'd recommend is getting a light green and lightly coloring in there. Remember, we're not gonna color on our alpaca. Our alpaca's not green. Okay, so lightly color in with some green. Around the legs, make sure you don't color on the legs. If you're working on like a dining room table or something, you might want to have a sheet of paper underneath so it doesn't color on your table. So I'm going to zoom in. So we're just going to work on this section right now. So we did our super light green, okay? Super light green. And we just lightly added a color all the way across. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your medium and your dark green. maybe kind of like an olive green. So lots of different greens are good. This is gonna add dimension and texture because this guy, see how many different kinds of green are in there? I think I used three or four. There's a light green, medium, dark green, a little bit of yellow green, okay? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top and we're just gonna make curved lines, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So y'all see that? Then, and so you're gonna do that over your whole um, area of grass. And then you're gonna do the same thing with your medium green. So you're gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right. 
So you see how it's kind of adding some texture, but we have that light green behind there. So it fills in all the extra white that we might have. And then we come in with our dark green and do the same thing. So now we have a nice little grass texture. All right. And we're gonna kinda use the same texture for the grass in our alpaca. So similar concept. We're gonna start with our super light brown. So you're gonna need a light brown, a medium brown, a dark brown, maybe even like a little bit of a red, reddish brown. Um, Cause sometimes browns have red tints to them. Okay, so I have I have four different tones. I'm gonna start with my super light one. I know this is kind of like a peachy color. It's actually called goldenrod, so it's kind of yellowish. I'm just gonna do like a light dusting of color. Again, like we've done everything else. You can always go darker, but you can't always take color away. So I'm just gonna do this little section here. So I'm gonna stop about at this leg. So after you get that area lightly colored with kind of like a warm yellowish brown, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in maybe probably with your reddish brown. And so what you're gonna do is from right under the tail all the way down is you're gonna start, you're gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna make kind of like a squiggle. Can you guys see that? So you're gonna make kind of like a squiggle. You can go different directions. You could even do those curved lines and go down. Because sometimes alpaca's hair is kind of curly. So you can add some curly squiggles. Make sure they're kind of close together. I kind of like to make the letter S just as I go down. You can even just, you know, squiggle up, squiggle down. Kind of like a squiggly zigzag. Okay, after you go all the way up your section, so I'd recommend doing the whole bot, your whole alpaca with that light color first and then come in with your next color and add this color all over your alpaca. Okay, don't do it on the blanket though. And then yes, you're gonna need to do that on the head and the ears as well. Leave this space super light, okay? So you can probably just use your light peachy tan and just leave that there, but then don't add any more color to it. You could also leave it white if you wanted. So then you're gonna come up with your reddish brown, add your little squiggles to make the hair and make the fur. Then you're gonna to come to your medium brown. So probably your regular brown. You're gonna start at the bottom again, make your squiggles, make your curve lines, make them a little bit different than how you did your first ones so they don't blend together too much because you want them to kind of stand out from each other. And you see how nice that color is starting to look? It's not just one shade of brown. Even if you have brown or blonde or red or super dark brown or black hair, there's lots of different colors that make up your hair. There's some pieces that are lighter, there's some pieces that are darker, and the same with these animals, okay? So now you're just gonna come in with your dark brown and you're not gonna add um, all over color like you have with these. So with your dark brown, you're just gonna kinda come in there kinda randomly and just spread it out. Because if it's too dark, it'll cover up all the pretty colors that we've layered underneath. So that's the basics of how you do the fur for them, all right? And so with the legs, the legs are gonna be light brown to dark brown. So you're gonna Probably take your regular brown and just draw a line straight down the middle of each of your legs. And then you're gonna lightly add a shadow there. 
lightly shade that in. And then on the back side, you're gonna get your darker brown. And then you're gonna fill that in. You can even get your light, your lightest brown to come in there and kind of blend it all together. Colored pencils are so great for layering, guys, as long as you draw light enough. And then I'm gonna come in a little bit more with that light brown or that medium brown, okay? So that's, that's pretty much it. That's the basics of how you're gonna go from your drawing to your awesome looking alpaca. Don't forget to upload your pictures to the Google Drive. You'll go to the Google Drive, you'll look up your teacher, you'll, you'll add your, uh, look up your name, and then you'll drop your photos there. If you can't figure that out, you can totally email them to me at t-v-e-a-l-e at calvarydayschool.com. I can't wait to see what you guys make this week. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see your work. Tune in next time.